Do you remember the last video that I did where I basically said about um, you just can't please everybody? You know, after the announcement of Henry Cavill playing Superman in the new movie, and then all of a sudden the Tom Welling fans were in uproar because oh, Tom's not been picked to play Superman. Why? What is this fuckery? Why? What? What's all this shit all about? This film is not going to be that good now because Tom Welling's not playing Superman. Okay. Now what we've got is confirmation that Smallville is going to get a two-hour series finale. Okay, and it's due to air on Friday the 13th of May. Still have no idea what the title is going to be anyway. Um, and it seems the f certain fans again yet again are not happy with the information that they've been given okay now I remember just before season 10 it, it, it started or as it started many many people were screaming and begging the writers and producers to have a two hour series finale you know everyone was like oh it would be awesome if they could have a two hour series finale for Smallville to really wrap the show up in an awesome way and I was thinking yeah that would be good it would be awesome to do that because obviously Smallville has been going on for 10 years you know it's telling the life and the story of how Clark becomes Superman even though this season hasn't pretty much been doing that um, and it's a case of what do we want to see in the end what do we want in the series finale and someone people have been asking me tonight what three things would you like to see in the series finale very simple Clark flying out of his own beliefs and motivation by the way not through someone else um, the suit I can put also the glasses with the suit as well and Lex Luthor Michael Rosenbaum's Lex Luthor those are the things that I really want to see you know those are the only things that I want to see in a series finale right now um, will we get it possibly one of them I think we might not get which is Lex but we'll see what happens. That aside though, the reason why certain fans are not happy about the announcement of the two hour series finale is because it's not a separate two hour series finale. So it's not like you're gonna get to episode 21 and then it's the two hour series finale being episode 22. But if you look at it this way, what they've done is, they've said, well, okay, the fans want a two hour series finale. Well, what we'll do is instead of having episode 21 and then 22 is the two hour finale will bring episode 22 forward a week because potentially that should have aired on Friday the 20th of May what with the fact that they pushed collateral back a week so all subsequent episodes will push back a week as well um, they brought 22 forward pair it with 21 there's your two hour series finale what's the problem what is the problem you're forgetting how last season we had absolute justice episodes 11 and 12 episode 11 was supposed to be legends and episode 12 was supposed to be society what happened they put it together as one big episode and it still counts as one episode so it still counts as one episode and therefore in the end we had 21 episodes in last season so the same thing is going to happen again this season you know it's still going to be 21 episodes but you're still going to get your two-hour finale what gives you know one minute you're screaming for something you get what you want and you're still not happy it's like you really cannot please anybody at all you know seriously and on another note um, the promo a preview clip from Beacon was released earlier tonight I didn't watch it a number of people that follow me do watch it and they pretty much leaked out what said clip contained I'm disgusted I really am disgusted to the high heavens not because of what the clip contained but what happened like what just the whole wrongness of it it's like do the writers and the producers not care anymore about certain characters to have Chloe and Oliver in that position in that moment in the situation that it was in shame on you that's all I can say shame on you guys yeah, shame. I mean, first it's Chloe's sex, now Clolly sex. When was Clana sex? Because I'm trying to think back now, and I can't recall 
the sex scene by with Clark and Lana in the same manner that we had Clark and Lois. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't remember. Like, not not like in... Um, I can't remember what episode it was in, but it was in season 6, I think, or 7, when Lana temporarily had superpowers and, you know, she said it was an even playing field and her and Clark basically caused a few seismic tremors in Smallville. Um, yeah, we didn't see anything of that sort. So that's what I'm saying. You know, feel sorry for the Klarna fans, maybe. But if we did have something similar for Klarna, let me know, because I cannot remember if we did or not. But um, yeah, shame on you writers and shame on you producers to have Chloe and Oliver in that position. You've pretty much disrespected Henry James Olsen. You know, it's like the character's just been pushed to one side, forgotten about, nobody cares about him anymore, we don't care because he was just created for season 8 that's it, push him to one side I, I don't know, I don't know, but anyway I'll leave it there um, I'm also going to post a link at the bottom to a blog that was sent to me by my friend Derval85 through Twitter I'm not going to say anything about it I want you guys to read it and then come back and tell me what you thought about it. It wasn't written by me, it was written by somebody else and all I can say is that guy deserves a fucking gold medal for writing that. That's what I'm gonna say. That is all I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching and good night.